quick video of a T5. This happens to be a four wheel drive onto an LS. This bell housing I got off Amazon. It's a 621 bell housing. Uh, here's the casting numbers on the side of it. That clutch and pressure plate and flywheel is from a 2005 4.8 five speed Silverado. This throw out bearing is the one that originally come with it. Slipped right on there. Not a problem. Now, if you have an S10 T5, this spline here is 14 splines. You need it to be 10. So you just buy a Jeep one, you unbolt it here, and you swap it out. You put the Jeep one in there. I've never done it before. It was pretty easy. You will have to trim back this piece because it comes up to about right here. And I don't know what the measurement is on there, but you're gonna need to trim that back. And this little piece here is too long. So you, it does, when it's up in the engine, it sits just like that. And I have a bearing up in there too. I bought an extra one just in case. There's still plastic on the clutch in there because it didn't clean it, didn't want to get a bunch of crap on it. This throw out bearing I got from Jegs. I had to shim it. I used all the shims except for three. And you're looking for a T5 one. Uh, it does come with directions. That T5 one is part number 82876. That's what I got, 82876. Then I have a dash four line. It's gonna go in here. Just goes over to the stock S10 master cylinder, which I put a dash four quick connect on, still waiting on it. Hopefully it shows up tomorrow. I've had this all bolted together. It bolts perfect. Hal says you're supposed to have a 16th of an inch between this throw out bearing and the clutch forks or fingers, and I do and everything slides together easy and perfect. Thank you.